Have you ever had an issue where your photos just don't do justice to those adorable freckles? You know, they are just not as visible as you like them to be. Well, don't worry because I am here to show you how to enhance those freckles and make them stand out more in your photos. So let's get started. Hi friends, welcome back to PS Desire. My name is Ishwar. In this quick tutorial, I will be guiding you through the process of enhancing freckles in Photoshop. Everyone loves freckles because of those charming little spots that dance across the skin and give you a touch of youth, innocence and a carefree spirit. So to kick things off, let's start by adding an adjustment layer to our photo. Simply click on the adjustment layer icon which looks like a half filled circle and then choose black and white from the menu. This adjustment layer will help us isolate and enhance the freckles. Now that you have your black and white adjustment layer, we don't want to affect the colors in the image. So for that, it's time to change its blending mode. You will find the blending mode option at the top of the layers panel. Click on the drop down menu and select luminosity. This will ensure that we are only affecting the luminosity of the image and not the colors. Once you have changed the blend mode, it's time to adjust the colors to enhance the freckles. Look for the yellow slider and reduce it. As you do so, you will notice the freckles becoming more prominent. Feel free to experiment with the values. For suppose you want to lower the intensity of the freckles, you can simply increase the yellows. But for this tutorial, let's go with minus 23. You can also try decreasing or increasing the reds a little bit for added effect. But for this tutorial, let's go with plus 20. Now I'm satisfied with the enhancement, but now we are in a situation where the images skin tones turned out a bit too dark. No worries. You can brighten those skin tones using the curves adjustment tool. Go to the adjustment layer options, select curves. To brighten the skin tones, we will focus on the mid tones. Simply click and drag the mid middle of the curve slightly upwards. As you do this, you will see the skin tones in your image start to brighten. Be cautious not to overdo it. Just a little lift is usually all you need. Now let's select the curves and black and white adjustment layers. To do this, hold on the control key or command key on Mac and click on the layers you want to select in the layers panel. Once you have your layers selected, right click on one of them and choose group from layers from the context menu. This will group your selected layers together. Now with your group selected, click on the add layer mask icon at the bottom of the layers panel. This will add a white layer mask to the group. Now, to invert the layer mask, make sure the mask is selected by clicking on it, then press Ctrl plus I or Command plus I on Mac to invert the mask from white to black. This will effectively hide the adjustments within the group. Now grab your brush tool and make sure your foreground color is set to white. Now simply paint over the areas where you want to enhance the freckles. In this case, I'm going to paint all over the skin. As you paint with white, you will notice the effects of the curves and black and white adjustments appearing on your image. Make sure avoid painting on the eyes and lips. If you feel like the enhancement is too strong, you can always adjust the opacity of the group. Simply lower the opacity until you are satisfied with the result. For this tutorial, let's go with an opacity of around 75% and there you have it. We have successfully enhanced the freckles in Photoshop. Whether you are a professional photographer looking to add a little extra flair to your portraits or simply want to enhance the natural beauty of your subjects, this tutorial is perfect for you. This effective technique can add a touch of realism and character to your portraits. So go ahead and give it a try on your own images and don't be afraid to experiment with the settings to achieve the perfect look. That's all for this video friends. If you enjoyed this content, please hit the subscribe button and give it a like. 
have any questions or feedback leave them in the comment section stay tuned for the next video until then happy editing